A battle rages in the center of one of the most famous cities in America. A war between steel and concrete instead of swords and shields. This is the tale of the Skyscraper Legends Tower, which is meant to reach the stars. Every inch of this soaring beauty has been battled, perspiration poured, and dreamed for, from the drawing board to the horizon. However, there is always a story of hardship hidden behind every victory. The great cities of America need to be fixed. Once havens for the working class, they are now too expensive for many. A luxury dispensary has replaced the beloved local shop. Rents are sky high and half of the renters struggle to afford their homes. We need bold alternatives, but where are they to be found? In Oklahoma City, of all locations, there is a plan so outrageous that it makes our heads spin. Legends Tower is a proposed extremely tall skyscraper that would reach a height of 197 feet, making it the highest building in the United States. It would dwarf the One World Trade Center and be twice as tall as the tallest building in Oklahoma City at the moment. Legends Tower is but a portion of the imagined boardwalk. The sheer scope of Bricktown development is mind-boggling, and its detractors are vocal. Can a building this size even withstand the notorious tornadoes in the area? And may this seemingly absurd idea expose the underlying issues that impoverished Americans face? Join the journey towards greatness. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Remember those classic American cities from TV and film? They were once vibrant, vibrant places. Mom and pop restaurants, unique bookstores, and small shops where you could find the ideal gift for a friend are all disappearing, and not in a good way. Big chains and trendy stores are displacing these family-run businesses, and because living expenses are so high, half of the nation struggles to make ends meet. Meanwhile, cities are too preoccupied with developing luxurious high reeses that only the wealthy can afford. Their largest cities are failing them, but they still require significant transformation. However, something intriguing is that there is a huge opportunity for those smaller cities. People are looking for towns and cities where they can own a home, raise a family, and not feel like they're frequently drowning in debt. They're tired of being priced out, having crazy commutes, and seeing nothing for their hard work. Oklahoma City may serve as a shining example of a place where people flock to certain areas. Austin, Texas, for example, has made its city walkable and friendly with a variety of housing options, giving everyone options. Cleveland, on the other hand, is putting a lot of emphasis on parks and community spaces, making it a desirable place to live because they understand the American people. Legends Tower, a large skyscraper positioned to be the highest structure in the nation, is the centerpiece of Oklahoma City's innovative plan for the beachfront at Bricktown. The dream isn't about who lives in the tallest building, it's about people having a fair opportunity regardless of their money. Consider how tall it is. 197 feet, dwarfing New York City's One World Trade Center. Given that other towns are making the proper investments and that this is a massive commitment for a place like Oklahoma City, where should Oklahoma City's priorities lie? Oklahoma City may be taking a different course. Let's go back a little and examine the beginnings of this massive undertaking. When Legends Tower was first introduced to the public in December 2023, it was a part of Bricktown's Boardwalk, a sprawling development designed by Madison Capital and the architecture firm AO. Originally, the tower was expected to rise to a still impressive height of 1750 feet, making it the second tallest building in the United States. However, in January 2024, a revised plan was presented, was revealed, and many gasped. In order to beat the One World Trade Center and become the tallest structure in the nation, Legends Tower was now attempting to rise 19,187 feet into the sky. Take into consideration the scale. The tallest structure in Oklahoma City now stands at a height of less than half that of Legends Tower. In the unlikely event that it materializes, the 50-story Devon Energy Complex was finished in 2012. This tower will be among the top five highest structures in the world, in addition to being the tallest building in the United States. Legends Tower is a mixed-use structure with over 1,700 floors, so it's not just about height. 
Flats boasts a 350-key Hyatt Hotel and a dazzling 110,000 square feet of shopping and dining area, but the true showstopper is the public observatory restaurant and bar on the top floors, which offers unsurpassed views of the city and beyond. Think of Oklahoma City with a dash of Las Vegas glitz. That is exactly what the intriguing Bricktown Development's boardwalk intends to do. This project will make downtown a place where there's always something to see and do, adding to the excitement for developers. Imagine a picturesque lagoon and boardwalk. Imagine yourself strolling beside the water while taking in the dazzling lights and lively atmosphere. This is the ideal location for locals. Don't miss out on the excitement. Subscribe to our channel and be the first to know about the triumphs and challenges shaping the future of skyscrapers. For guests to relax and take in this city's fresh vitality. But there's more. This ambitious proposal calls for the construction of a large new arena for the Oklahoma City Thunder basketball franchise, which will cost at least $900 million. The best part is that it's all happening in the already vibrant Bricktown area near the Oklahoma River which wraps over three acres of downtown real estate. Construction is set to start soon. The first three towers, which are still fairly tall at 345 feet, will begin this year. While Legends Tower, the grand centerpiece, will come later. This state-of-the-art sports complex promises to be the talk of the town, bringing NBA games, major concerts, and caps from all over right into the heart of Bricktown. First-hand view of Oklahoma City's transformation, but not everyone is sold on the idea. Neophytes and critics alike are puzzled, and with good reason. Why is this a good idea for Oklahoma City, a city that doesn't need another skyscraper? Besides, what about those tornadoes? Is this the best way to revitalize a city in the heart of Tornado Alley? The more you look into it, the more questions you have. Let's start by discussing design. The tower itself has neat lines and isn't too bad. A little flare but the remainder that splaying podium mall appears to be a patchwork of materials with a flowing canopy on top that needs to accommodate some people who could find this oddball design appealing. Although charming, it seems more like a ripoff of Beijing's Galaxy Soho project than something specific to Oklahoma City. However, there are some encouraging signs. Other Midwestern communities, such as Cleveland or Austin, are experiencing success with urban renewal initiatives that prioritize walkability and diversity of housing. Although the Bricktown Boardwalk is mostly focused on its record-breaking tower, it does have some interesting aspects. It intends to improve connectivity between the Riverwalk and the city's center by providing some public areas and, most importantly, by providing options for inexpensive housing. Additionally, it is close to public transportation, which is a wise decision for urban development. Let's not get carried away. These projects run the risk of turning into what urban planners refer to as mop spaces, which appear public but have strict regulations and heavy policing, similar to Hudson Yards in New York City. Whether this will be a heavily controlled tourist attraction or a revitalized area for the people of Oklahoma City is still up in the air. The entire project depends on zoning the land where they want to build. Buildings are not allowed to rise higher than 300 feet, yet Legends Tower's intended height is over six times that amount. This isn't just about making a small change. In order for the developers to succeed, the city must rezone the entire region. The primary issue with Legends Tower is the message it conveys. It seems like a desperate attempt to maintain an antiquated urban success model from the 20th century, in which the highest structure denoted the significance of a city. Mid-sized cities like Oklahoma City are well-positioned to become havens for those tired of living on the expensive coast. But would a massive tower entice people to leave Los Angeles? Or would it just exacerbate the issues that are driving people away from megacities in the first place? Will let us know what you think by leaving a comment below and sharing if you thought this was fascinating. To ensure you receive all updates on this fascinating project, please subscribe and don't forget to activate the notifications.